Hello, and welcome to yet another SunTup Edition unboxing. This is my third one in a row. It is SunTup week, and this is the uh, Wolfen, I almost said the artist, the Wolfen numbered edition by Whitley Stryber, or Streber? Uh, Whitley Stryber, I believe. I apologize, Whitley. Um, so this is illustrated by Francois Viancourt, which is the main reason that I got the artist edition. I mean, I love the artist editions to begin with. But for me, this title was all about the art. Um, Whitley Striver, Strieber, I apologize. Whitley uh, wrote The Wolfen, which is a, pr a procedural that involves werewolves, but they're technically Wolfen, which are more than werewolves. But then I know he also kind of went and did uh, some alien stuff. He's, uh, he's all alien. So um, got a lot of science fiction you can read up. Or in his words, science nonfiction. So there we go. The Wolfen by Whitley Stryber. New introduction by the author and illustrations by Francois Viancourt. The illustrations were so beautiful that Suntup offered an art portfolio, which I gladly purchased. And I can tell you right now, based on the slipcase, the slipcase matches the coating on the art portfolio. I am not keeping this numbered edition. And I apologize for that. I like to try to keep as many numbered editions of Suntup editions as I can. But for me, this was all about the art. So the artist edition absolutely suffices. And now, on video, you might watch me regret that decision based on how beautiful this is. So it actually has kind of a granite feeling to the slipcase itself, uh, which I know there was some discussion over on the fans of Suntup Facebook group. Actually, it might have been the uh, in another Facebook group that's for signed, limited, and awesome books uh, that somebody, uh, some people have said that they were nervous about the adhesive. You can kind of see the uh, texture to it uh, hitting their other books. But I suppose it's also been said that if you're not too abrasive with it, it will, you know, withstand and you're not going to beat the hell out of your other books. They also said, uh, we had a, we had a, someone mention how, uh, this kind of like glitter sparkle, you kind of see the shine to it, was coming off. Uh, and then Becca, the resident ninja from Suntup, uh, explained that there's not like a layer of glitter in this. That is actually part of this kind of adhesive material, so it shouldn't come off. So, you know, maybe maybe Paul threw a little glitter in to, you know, spice up the unboxing for uh, this other individual. Not sure. Um, one thing you're going to notice with all of the different Wolfen editions are these claw marks. It's also on the Artist Edition, which I unboxed on the channel. I've also seen it on the Lettered Editions as well. We have a nice Japan, quarter-bound Japanese cloth binding there. Very stunning. Very nice. Very nice. Do my Borat there. And then you have a little label. You kind of see you go in the spine there that says the Wolfen. Sun Top Editions. This is not printed letterpress. I mean, it's got a... Is this the one? Oh, no, it's Johnny Guy's Gun has a letterpress label. I'm saying that's not a letterpress label on the spine. But, ooh, I like how limber that cover is. Uh, very nice nice end papers there. Kind of solid matte black, but it's got a texture to it. So, The Wolfen. An image of The Wolfen right there. New introduction by the author. Illustration by Francois Viancourt. Um... Just absolutely gorgeous illustrations throughout. I'm going to put this down for a second so I can flip through with my other hand. Oop, sorry to that back cover. Seriously. Police procedural involving werewolves. Or more specifically, wolfen, which are not werewolves. They're similar to werewolves. I'm really glad that Francois, uh, who's one of the best artists in the business these days, uh, went with his own interpretation and didn't decide to go with the image from the original first edition because they straight up look goofy on that first edition. Looks like a dude wearing a dog mask. There's also a movie. I haven't seen the movie. And I am loving the texture of this art. It's kind of got like a waxier uh, paper stock. Which is, you know, sturdier paper stock than the artist edition. The lycanthrope. As also seen in American Werewolf in London, I believe. They have that same image. So anyways, 
very nice book all around. Artist editions are, every edition is sold out, but you can find it on the secondary market. I'd recommend the artist edition or the number edition if you want to spring some extra, a couple extra bucks. 350 copies signed by Willie Stryber and Francois Veyencourt. This is number 127. And like I said, this is not actually going to be staying in my collection, but it is a beautiful, beautiful book. And I'm glad I had the privilege of checking it out firsthand before sending it on its way. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. I'm calling this Sun Tub Week because I had four Sun Tub boxes to unbox this week. If you haven't watched my other videos, please consider checking out the channel and subscribing. And we'll see more Sun Tub unboxes, unboxings in this week. I can't speak English anymore. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.